Is This a Great State or What? is sponsored by Weoki. We got you, Oklahoma. Well, let's see. Skirvin Tower, Civic Center, now Oklahoma History Center. The old WKY Kilgan Organ has had three homes since 1935 and one big restoration completed five years ago. And later on tonight, the instrument Ken Wright made famous right here is pulling out all the stops for a holiday concert. Galen Culver was there this morning for a preview. No sticks tonight, hockey sticks anyway. Or no fights. No ice either for Lance Luce, who would be playing organ at a Detroit Red Wings home game if he weren't in Oklahoma City. I would say this is going to be a much more polite crowd tonight. Fingers twitching for a chance to play one of four surviving instruments like this 1935 Kilgan that's played Christmas songs on radio and television for generations of Oklahomans. And this organ is really, uh, it's a ripper as they say, it really goes, it's got a lot of power. He took piano lessons as a kid, but Lance's parents took him to a concert where the organist rose from beneath the stage and that was it for him. And I went, I want to do that. Luce has a regular church gig and for Red Wing home games, but he travels the world playing concerts partly for the chance to play instruments like these, each one different. There's no speakers, there's no amplifiers, there's no technology. It's all done with air going through pipes or air moving hammers to hit things. There are still lots of people out there who remember Ken Wright at this bench, playing sound effects for radio shows or station breaks or concerts of his own. The old Kilgan came out of mothballs and an extensive rebuild five years ago to a home built for history, a hall built for big sound, and this year to a season's worth of music that a receptive audience is eager to hear right this very minute. Oklahoma City, Galen Culver, News 4. Is this a great state or what? Boy, it still sounds good, doesn't it? Tonight's Kilgan performance is called Holiday Special. Guest performer Lance Luce is planning to play a lot of Christmas music, of course, and a sing-along. And they've got a lot on tap for tonight. He'll also accompany a Laurel and Hardy silent <laughs> short film. And the show at the History Center starts at 7 o'clock. Doors open at 6 tonight.